I've written uh, many articles about my uh, two youngest grandchildren, Jack and Owen. They live in Indianapolis, and every week for the past over five years, I've gone down there and babysitted for Jack, and then Owen came along and for Owen now. Um, a couple of days before Halloween this year, I uh, thought it'd be a good opportunity to bake cookies with them and um, got everything collected at my house, drove down in Indianapolis. And in the meantime, Jack and Owen's mother tells the two boys, guess what's happening today? Papa's coming and you guys are going to be making cookies, Halloween cookies. Um, now, you know, we have baked cookies cakes and pies for the last three or four years. Um, and it was, this Halloween was just going to be another wonderful experience of baking. Uh, when I arrived, um, Jack was all excited. He comes up, hugs me and says, we're excited. <laughs> And then Owen comes up and Owen has, I mean, Owen was excited also, but Owen has a, it, it, it is, and I don't understand it, but it is a wonderful experience. He's happy to see um, me or anybody else. And what he'll do is jump in your arms and just hold you quietly, not say anything, but just hold you tight. And, and then when he's, done his hugging, then he'll start to talk to you. And the first thing he says after he's hugged me for a, a few moments, he looks at me and all excited, he, he just he can hardly wait. He looks at me and says that we're going to be making cookies for you. And I looked at, I looked at Owen and I said, no, Owen, we're not going to be making cookies for me. We're going to be making cookies for you and your brother and your parents. And to see the absolute joy of a child when he realizes that he's going to get some of the cookies, it was priceless. Um, and, and so we run into the house and you know, had to mix up the... Uh, food coloring and white icing for, and they had a debate about what color they're going to paint the, the you know, bats and so you have to mix the colors you have to um, roll out the cookie dough you have to use a cookie cutter to do the pumpkins and the you know, bats then you have to bake it and then you have to ice them um, and it was like every other time that I have done some baking or cooking or uh, baking pies or cakes with them. It was, I mean, I'm sure they loved it, but I loved it more. I got home that night. And um, started to, um, I mean, I had, a, had to do some classwork and some classes I was teaching. And late at night, I kind of um, wanted to start this essay. And um, I started it, and it was just like, I mean, you go to my webpage and write down Jack Owen Baking, and you'll find dozens of articles. It was going to be just like that. And then came the haunting question. You know, I, I love my three children. I love Ayana, who is my granddaughter, who's 20 years old. She's an adult. I mean, I love all four of them. But there's something different about Jack and Owen. And that, that question has haunted me, starting with Jack over five years ago and three years ago with Owen when he came into the world. I could never quite figure out what was the difference.
And it's interesting that that while we were baking and making the cookies, you had two preschoolers all excited. And you had a 72-year-old grandfather who was equally excited. And the last part of this essay is about how I'm starting to begin to understand the difference between Jack and Owen and my love for them and my love for my children and granddaughter. And it has to do with experiences in the recent past in my life. Um, so you know, I hope that you enjoy this cute little article. I hope that you understand what my experiences were like, but also my experiences are applicable also to everyone else. You know, at least take time with your family, your extended family, um, and and you will you will benefit. They, the, the children, especially the young children, they will also benefit. So in the meantime, I uh, appreciate your uh, watching and listening to this uh, video and I um, appreciate the time it takes for you to read the article. In the meantime, you take care.